Hi, it's Terry from the Star Morning Show, and it is another edition of our Star 104.5 Virtual Teacher of the Week. And with me is Mr. Anton Jensen from Sunny Slope Elementary. Hello. Hi, how are you? Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Well, congratulations. Now, you teach third grade, correct? Yes, I do. All right. So, Nikki Bonner, and she's got a lovely daughter named Serenity, wrote a letter, and I thought uh, Mr. Jensen would start off by reading you what she had to say about you. She says, Mr. Jensen has gone above and beyond for the kids during this time. He was always a good teacher in the classroom, but shines brightly outside for the kids and their families. With daily communications of videos and activities to engage them, to finding additional resources available to them and their families while at home has made him shine as a teacher. I can't express enough how he is a treasure to have right now. So that is from Serenity and her mom. And do you love doing e-learning this way? I know it's probably a challenge to kind of start the school year doing one thing and then doing another. Yeah, the transition has been kind of difficult. Um, you know, we're all kind of learning too, just as teachers, so there's a big learning curve. Um, but there are some difficulties with it, but over time it, it's gotten uh, gotten more comfortable with it. Um, at the beginning it was rough, but right now it's, I think it, we're finally smoothing out and everything's going pretty well. That's cool. Now, did you always um, like tech? I mean, some teachers I talk to that they've just like me, I'm just learning the Zoom thing and learning all that. But some people are probably more comfortable with it. And it sounds from this letter that you've made everybody a lot more comfortable with it. Yeah, at the beginning, before this whole thing happened, um, after winter break, when we came back in January, I started out and a lot of the kids were getting comfortable using our online port, uh, uh, platform for our school. So a lot of them were comfortable when we started and started this new type of learning <laughs> sure. uh, but, still, but still we did go over a lot of speed bumps and stuff but um it, it's been a change sure well it seems like you're adapting the children really really well so what do you find other than just the e-learning like um having to teach from home now instead of in front of a class at school um basically it's it's a very diverse population at our school i, I have students who have their own computers um, who have their own tablets, who have Wi-Fi at home, but you know, you also have students who they don't have they don't have those devices at home. Um, so really, going and making sure that I can make lessons available to students who can do it online, but then also providing outlooks so that the kids can do those same activities that the other kids are doing with paper, pencil, and a notebook. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even think about that, but you're right. I'm sure that happens. Now, how many children are in your class? I have 21. Wow, okay. And how many times a day do you actually, um, do you have like a morning session, afternoon, or do you all, do it all in one setting? Well, I send out things daily um, that they can do, that they can, uh, directions on how to do things online or things that they can do at home. Um, but I do try to send out just even goofy videos. And if I take my dog out on a walk, um, you know, me, my dog, Opie, talking about you know math problems of how many laps it's going to take us to, to get a whole mile every time we go around this lap on a track um, but then also I mean even just now about 20 minutes ago it's kind of nice every couple uh, times a week I have what we do a lunch bunch but we just do it virtually where I sit down with my lunch the kids that join sit down with their lunch so it's nice just to be able to see face to face so really I'm just reaching out every day to whoever in any way that I can so that's great. Okay, Mr. Jensen, what is it that you really think is kind of fun about teaching this way? It's a little different from being in school, but just kind of a perk to doing the e-learning. Kind of basically was just, you know, ending that lunch bunch I just finished a little bit ago. It's, um, I'm seeing that the students who were quieter in the classroom and didn't like to share a lot, um, I think it's given them kind of made, made it a comfortable environment because when they see me, um, sitting at my kitchen table or in my office at my house with my dog next to me eating, you know, a bologna and cheese sandwich. <laughs> It'll, and, you know, they're sitting down at their kitchen table with their families eating their lunch and just talking back and forth. Um, it's really been enjoyable and I think it, it's continued to be able to build those relationships that, um, you know, us as teachers really like building just be, beyond academic, you know, uh, aspects. So. Being able to still uh, communicate with them and build those relationships has been really amazing with the technology. 
Yeah, they kind of don't just see you as a teacher, they see you as like a regular person like them. And I think that really would help a lot to see the yeah. other side of our teachers, what they do at yeah. home. Okay, now how long have you been teaching, Mr. Jensen? Uh, this is my fifth year on okay. teaching third grade um, at Sunny, so for my fifth year teaching, yeah. Okay, great. And what do you love most about teaching? Um, just basically seeing the growth that you see throughout the year. Um, especially in third grade, well, in, in any grade, you, you get these students and they come into your life, into your classroom in August, um, and then they leave you in May, uh, this time in March, but uh, just seeing that growth that they have academically, but beyond that, just the maturity level. You see how they've grown um, with their social skills, um, beyond just academics, it, it just, just seeing that small person be able to grow and become something you've, you've worked tirelessly to help them accomplish. Yeah, I bet you that is very special. Well, we have got some special things for you since you are our Teacher of the Week. It's our 20th year doing it and we love to do it. We wanna thank Brain Balance, who's our main sponsor, our title sponsor, but we have got from Omaha Orthodontics, we're gonna give you a gift pack. It's got all kinds of cool stuff to keep your smile bright and and all that kind of good stuff. And then Shaka Lottery Stom is giving you a $20 gift certificate to enjoy some sweet treats there in the Shadow Lake Town Center. Also, Mathnasium of Papillion is going to give you a gift card for meal out. So you can just take some time and not eat your bologna sandwich at home. You can actually <laughs> go out and eat. And then finally, this is my favorite part, Regal Awards is giving you our Star 104.5 Teacher of the Week Award. You can put it on your desk, whatever you like. And that's for you, Mr. Jensen. Love it. Congra it's awesome. Congratulations. You mean so much to your students. And I want to thank you for taking the time. I know this is a busy time because you've only got, like, you're ending the school year early this year, correct? Yeah, we have two more weeks. We end on May 15th, so okay. it's coming quick. All right, well, congratulations and thank you for all you do. You are our virtual teacher of the week. And um, do you want to say anything to your students who could be watching this? Same thing I say after we finish every meeting. I miss you guys. Stay healthy, stay safe, and go have some fun outside. All right, thank you, Mr. Jensen, and congratulations again. Thank you so much.